Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Escape Simulator. Now they've just released some brand new DLC and look it's portal themed. So basically we're going to find out what would happen if Aperture Science created an escape room uh, and well well here we are we we we're locked in and we we have a timer oh, no. 90 minutes and someone's watching me now I feel under pressure and now I've realized there's like hundreds of thousands of people also watching me now I'm double pressured. Anyway what is this a projector we have a switch we've just turned our light on interesting over here we got a bin it's empty we've got a button Oh, what's that? Oh, in the drawer, there's something. Okay, middle middle drawer, that one. Hang on, let's just put that down there. So in there, we have this. Okay, that goes in the top of this projector. Okay, we have projection stuff. Oh, I can roll. Oh, I can. Hang on, I can roll it. Oh, <laughs> okay, so yeah, behind that, there's some stuff. So presumably, I can rotate these in a way that lines up with a load of buttons. So have I got to press them in or dirt? Yes. And it's sort of like strongest shape. Anyway, so that goes there. Have I got through the first room? I've got through the first room already. I'm a genius. All right, what have we got? Is that a hamster wheel? Oh, I can spin that. Okay, I can... I can spin it either way. Sort of like a big shaming rule. If I do bad, I'll go in there and shame myself. And everyone watching, you can all shame me. We're actually in some sort of hamster place. So, like, I was seeing, like, loads of chocolate. But I've just seen there's, like, a pea and a bit of sweet corn. Not sure I fancy that. Not the best combo. All right, what have we got here? Test one out of three. Step on the matching pressure plate. So, step on that one. Oh, step on... Sorry, step on the X. Okay, we'll step on the X. Got it. Then the tick. Then the X, then the tick again, and then the tick again, and again. <laughs> and then after a whole load of that, we've done it. Oh, we get rewarded. Yum. Oh, it's rat food. What size rats do they have to eat them? Oh, why can I? I can inspect it. Interesting. <laughs> now, there's also a an orange. Oh, that has a key. Yeah, so rat food is nothing. But look, there's a lemon there as well. That also has a key. Step on one of the pressure plates to begin test. Okay, loading test. So test two out of three. Something about a portal and a laser. I'm not sure. I've just noticed there is... There's the portals. Why am I still holding a lemon? I'm not sure. All right, what have we got over here? Pneumatic vent delivery. It is offline. Okay. Uh, what do they have? They have an Architect Tears mug available in my merch store now. And oh, look, USB is missing. Okay, we've got to find a USB. Got to be in one of these drawers, right? Broken CPUs. I'm wondering, is there is there like a USB in here? Because there's more there's more fruit, isn't there? Oh, hang on, careful! Lemons will explode. Lemons will explode when all the conditions have been met. So I need to stop breathing. The chamber reaches over a thousand degrees, and the self destruct protocol is initiated. Okay, I guess we're probably safe from the lemon exploding. What have we got down here? Oh, an ocular piston. Oh my goodness, that was a rat trap. I just realised. Okay, so now now I can't pick that up. There is a red wire, though, coming over here into the computer. So I've got to get this on to lift that up. What have we got here? Check the cube. We can do weird stuff. Okay, so we can move stuff like that, but i got to check the cube. There is the cube. Unfortunately, it's falling way too quick. I'll tell you what, I could print screen just to read it, but I feel like that is cheating. How do I... Looking up, there's so much stuff. Oh, look, I'm in the wheel. I'm running in the wheel. Did that actually do anything? It's not even it's not even moving A. How do I move A? Tell you what, I didn't realize how tall this room is. I need I need like a hard hat or something. Or <gasps> my prayers have been answered. A hard hat. Oh, I've just realized I can go I can go hang on, put the hard hat down. I can go into this room. Is there likely stuff in here that I need? Oh hang on, look at this. Look, there's all there's all sorts going on. What is this? A clipboard. So test oh, do we have like loads of different Things we've got to see whether they work or not. So test two, is that impassable? Because no one can get to the switch. So on here, I would say impassable zero for the first one. Right, and then, okay, let's just work these out. So one, one, zero, zero. Oh, that could be one or the other. I don't really know. That's a zero because you can't get to the exit. I guess that's a I don't really know if I'm honest, but still we'll put the code in. Oh, yes. Access granted. Sweet. It worked. Aha. So now I'm in. So I can say fix retina scanner, drop parts and fix personality score. Oh, irreparable. Sorry about that, mate. For now, let's just head back into the other room and see what 
dropped. I don't think anything. I was hoping the cube might have dropped, but it didn't. Oh, I've just realized this is, I think this is the hint button. Oh, wait, this has changed. This has changed now. Am I now just saying whether we can get through all these? Like the test I just did over there? I think it is. So that one, yes, you can get the portal across. This one, no, you're just doomed. This one, no, you can't get to the cube. Doomed. That one, you can't get across. You'll get shot in the face. That one, yes. That one, you can dodge the being shot in the faceness because there's portals. And then the final one, no, you'll be trapped because you can't press the button. Decent, more rat food. There's a random potato. There is a banana. <laughs> Why have I got all this fruit? And what is that? It's a lime. Right, what have we got here? Scan your QR code to continue to test three. I've got to find a QR code. Uh, inside this pamphlet. Can I, like, open it at all? I've just... Ah, I've just stuck... I've just stuck it to my head. How do I get it off? How do I get it off? Oh, there you go. There we go. We are in. So this is a clue. Did you know you can make a battery with nothing but common household items? All you need are some fruits and vegetables, copper nails, wire, and that's it. Okay, we've got to find wire and copper nails. Oh, I just picked this thing up as well. And look, it had a gyrometer in it. Okay, there's another one here. Let's have a look at this. What does this one have in it that I need? All around the back. What is that? We've got our battery. Oh, so can I charge that up with my lemons and stuff? Oh, look over here. It's already been it's already been stuck together. What is that? A fruit lock. Banana plus orange. How do I shove a banana into this thing? I want to shove my banana into this thing. Oh, look, look. Personality core retina scanner. Ah, so that's how we get through there, is it? So that personality core is this. So if I shove that in there, it will scan the retina and nothing happens. Is that because its eyes shut? How do I open its eye? Okay, let's have a look at fixing this personality core. I know where the CPU is. Question is, where does it go? I'm not sure. I don't know what to do. It's got to be something to do with this thing. What if, actually, what if I grab, what if I grab a lemon? Oh, look, it goes onto that. Oh, there's the lemon. So is that going to help me do it? I got to a lemon and a banana. No, my brain just combined them into one fruit. I got to an orange and a banana. So orange goes on there. So that gives us 640. So if I then shove banana on there, that gives us 630. I mean, it's like 1200 and 1270. So I'm not really sure how this works. Oh, do I need to work out? Hang on. I think I need to work out what the what the lime is first. So oh, lime is 600, right? Or two limes are 600. So a single lime is 300. So 330 for the banana. 340. So that makes 670. So 670. Oh, yes. Get in. All right. And then in there, we've got the USB. Oh, look, the end of it's quite shiny. Fair play. Right. Anyway, where's this going? Into computer out here, wasn't it? Yeah, into this one. So shove that in there. Terminal is now unlocked. So security camera feed. Oh, look, I can see stuff now. Interesting. Oh, it is literally print screening to... <laughs> it's print screening to see the cube. Okay, so the question is, can I shove those onto the thing on the wall? Uh, let's just see what else we've got. Is there anything interesting? Not really. Okay, so I think if we go... Oh, I'm not actually entirely sure how to color this one in, if I'm honest. Oh, there you go. It's like that. It's like that. We've done it. So that's bottom right one. The top left was just a solid cube. So do I just do that? Yeah, like that. Nice. Top right is just this bottom one. So if I do that and then cover those back up, that's that done. Oh, we're getting there. So this bottom left one, it was a top triangle and a bottom triangle. So if I go to the middle, I can do that. Then go do this triangle and then just back out that way. Decent. Right, so that's lit up orange. And then, oh, this is on. Select which gears to engage. Oh, because they're all they're all coded. Okay, okay, let's before we do that, let's just have a look back on here. I can raise the central platform. I can reset the mouse trap. And the main computer access denied. Okay, fair enough. So right, mouse trap has been reset. Can I actually grab nope. that now? Ow. No, I can't. No, I can't. Oh, but look. Look what we've got here. It's the portal gun. Oh, so that needs stuff in it. Like a battery. I'm not actually sure where my battery went then. I thought I put it down, but I, I'm not sure. Oh dear. Oh dear. I may have lost a battery already. All right. Well, anyway, let's have a look at this mouse wheel then. So if we say A, then as we run, we've spun that into position. All right. D won't actually move. 
Oh, wait, D, wait, D's that, there's so many D's. So D's not moving any of that. Let's try E. Oh, do I need to do E and D at the same time? Hang on. I mean, it's also touching B. Let's do B as well and A. All right, there you go. That is spinning everything now. So I think that's how I do the last one. So then I just got to work backwards. So I now turn E off and then I can do the D's. So I just got to spin it that way so that that corner is now connected. So that goes down to C. So turn D off and C on. And then spin C like that. It's a little bit wonky, but then we're just back to B, which I need A for as well. So we do, we do that. And yes, it's all locked in place. So all pipes are connected now. So that's good. I've used half an hour. Now, yeah, but that means over here, the pneumatic vent delivery is now working. So, oh, look, I've sent that that way. Was I meant to? I don't know. <laughs> oh, sounds positive. Oh, yeah, so look, the cube is now, is now wedged in the ceiling. Oh, and, well, and the floor because we got rid of the portals. Okay, so in here, break glass. We have a crowbar. Oh, or just open the cabinet door. Really? Could I have... Oh, my bad. <laughs> right, so don't know what crowbar will be used for. Um, oh, I am going to need to get in there. So what have we got to do here? we got different values for different things. That's the retina thing. That's the cube. That's a laser. They somehow need values. Oh, we got a radio. And then oh, do we want to like line these up or something? Oh, here we go. Here we go. They're lined up. They're lined up. We got a message. Check the printer. Okay. All right. Where was printer again? It was like, I think it was through this room. Yeah, up here. Is this a QR code? Yes, it is. Test assessment. Scan me. There's also a load of stuff beneath, but let's just scan this first. So the scanner was here. So we'll shove that on there. All right. So now we have test three, which just says portal turret portal man turret. Let's let's have a read of this, shall we? Rule one, the number of icons must be odd. Rule two, there are exactly two or zero of a certain icon. I'm trying to work out like the rules to get like a yes or a no. And then I apply that to this and just say yes or no. Okay, got it. So that's odd. So that's a yes. That's even. So that's a no. So we can't really work out too much from that. But it's the odd ones that have a cross that we're interested in. Because they give us a reason for it to fail, I think. So rule two, there are exactly two or no something in there. So if I look at another odd one later on that still passes... Then that icon, like this one down here, could either be the portals or the crate. The one to the left of it is odd and has two portals as well. Wait, rule three, something else appears exactly one time. Is that man running, perhaps? Then why would that one fail? If there is a cake, then there must be a turret. Oh, because that one, there's a cake and there's no turret. Oh, man. Okay, my head is fried, but I think I've actually got it. So it's odd and there's two portals and one man. I reckon, I reckon that's a yes. Okay, I got it right. I got it right. Okay, that's good. Uh, it's odd. There's one man, but there's a cake. And if there is a cake, there must be a turret. Okay, I think that one's a yes because there's no portals and there's no two portals. That's also a yes. I think this could be a yes as well, but I'm not sure. No, it is. It is. I think it is. We're on to the next one. Okay, it's odd. So that's good. There's exactly two or zero portals. Yes. The man appears exactly one time. Yes. If there is a cake, then there must be a thing. Yes. Okay, that's another yes. There's too many yeses. I don't like this. So this one's looking good. But look, there's a cake and there's no turret. So that is a no. Oh, we've actually, we've cracked it. We have cracked it. So there's two portals. But look, there's three, there's three little people. So that is a no. This one, there's no, there's no men. Yeah, there's no, there's no persons. This one breaks rule three. So that is a no. And then the last one, it's even. So that is a no. He's only gone and done it. Give me that rat food. All right. Oh, here we, here we go. Here we go. What is that? What is that? Give me that. Oh, it's a portal gun core. Okay, that can probably go in the portal. Boosh. So now I just need another portal gun core. Was there anything else in there? No, that's quite disappointing. I'm just going to gnaw on some rat food while I think about what I've done. Okay, so what else have we got to achieve? That is now completed. We have a crowbar, don't we? Could I use that to like prop this open perhaps? I don't think so. Oh my goodness. Ow. <laughs> right, what could we use it to do? I mean, could we? Oh, here we go. Here we go. We can force that open. Nice. So down there is a personality court with... Oh, there you go. 
There's the other battery. Oh, no. I think I've lost a battery, though. I don't know what happened to my first battery. I, like, tried to put it down, and then it was, like, just gone. Oh, balls. I think I may have cocked this. So I tried to put the battery in there, and then it sort of, like, just went a bit mad. All right. Anyway, back in the security camera feed, what else have we got? Yes, we have a pause button. We also have IR. Oh, here we go. What is that? Is that 26? Oh, then 30. Oh, look, there are the symbols. So the laser is 8. The eye is 26 or 92, and that is 34. So we'll try 26. Yes, we got it open. It's the LED array. Ooh, shiny. Okay, still not sure what I'm doing with it. I still don't know how to get this out either. Like, how am I meant to stop that happening? Oh, is it because it's on a timer? Can I just grab it now? Oh, I'm an idiot. I could have done that ages ago. All right, now I've just got to figure out what to do with this thing and over here like have i got to try and fix it first oh i shove it oh i shove it in here first okay shove everything in just shove it all in all right battery in the back although no i'm definitely missing another battery now aren't i so i think we've got everything in except for that battery which i lost it was over here somewhere oh is that it there is that that's it can you see it oh how do i get that out how do i get that out there it is battery yes oh that was that was a nightmare right shove that in the back yes now it's up and running. So now I can, like, fix personality core. Operational. Nice. So now we grab you, and then we shove you in there. Now you've got a working eyeball. And then we're through. Yay. Question, how long do we have left? Oh, only 30 minutes. Right, we've got to, we've got to speed run this now. Oh, look at that. Efficient engineering there. All right, there's a lot going on in this room. Not going to lie. Let's have a look over here. There's going to be cubes and potentially lasers. So wall rotation. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, so we can spin that. That's good to know. Over here, we need some batteries. We got letters. I don't think I'm going to complete this in time. I'm panicking now. I'm panicking. Oh, oh the cake. Is that the end of the game? The cake? All right, oh, I'll tell you what, actually. Can I... Where's that, like... I was wondering here. Could I... No, there's a locked door. Oh, so in the next room... Oh, actually, let's go in the next room then. If I get... If I pull this junk out, you get out, you get out. Then we close the hatch. So that's now clean. That's where the blockage was, right? So now we can go whoop. And that moves the the companion cube all the way over there, right? So yeah, look, there it goes. There it goes. Do you see it? So where's it gone? It's here. We've got a cube. So companion cube goes on that. Oh, man, this is like playing portal again. I'm liking this. All right, we've then got deadly lasers. I can, oh goodness, I can rotate that up and down and all sorts. Okay, good to know. Okay, so we've spun to that. That is a circle. Didn't I see a circle? Yeah, over here, look. So now we've got a switch, which made a good noise. We follow that to here. And then, oh, what have we got here? <laughs> Lift the, oh my goodness. Okay, we've got another one of them. So these have different, like, yeah, they've got different levels. Three different levels. Well, I, well, none at all is the bottom one. So two different levels. So basically, the bottom left one keeps this one on an axis where I can spin left and right. So I can spin that to here and then rotate that like that. So that's now going that way. And oh, that's going down to triangle now. Decent. So where is triangle? Here. I need to get circle blob as well. So where is circle blob in all of this? Oh, look, it's up the top. Okay, so with those in place, can I raise these without affecting anything? No, that affected everything. Okay, but if I rotate that backwards, that will go up to that one. Oh, so yeah, base okay, I got it. I got it. I basically just need to like get the rotation right down here, and then lift this back up. When it goes up to the top, it's now sort of pointing in a direction. I mean... Not the right one. But after a bit of tweaking, I've got it pointing there. So now I've just got to fix this one to point... Oh, actually, no, just move it out of the way, right? So if I lower that, then that laser's going to that one. And then I can just rotate this one that way. And then that's getting that one. We've got both of them. Pull the switch. And then we've unlocked another door. So... Oh, and here is an elevator. We can go upstairs. Where we have another cube and whatever the hell this is. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know what that does. That just changes all lasers. So, there's B, A, C, D. What do we do with this storage cube? Oh, has it got a... It's got like a, like a hole through it. 
And I think that means lasers go through. I'm thinking take companion cube off, swap it with that cube, because then I can shoot through it and get the moon behind, right? So if I lower that and get a laser out of A, that's a direct hit. I think this is what I need to open next, though. So that goes to here. So do I need to get sun and moon? Okay, got it. So if I point that that way, that's the sun. To get the moon, if I head upstairs in the elevator, can I make... What if I do A and B? Yes, we've done it. Look, they're both on. So that means I can hit this switch, which opens this elevator so i can come up this side of the room now then over here we have a button and our oh, portal core so we can take that back to the portal gun which is over here shove it in and then is it going to shoot a portal i think it is i think it is wait for it wait for it this is the moment we've been waiting for oh i did it i completed it look at me that's me you got a beard by the way, non-hard hat reveal. Oh, it looks like... Did I miss, like, eight collectibles, maybe? Don't know. That was really fun. That was actually, like, a lot more challenging than I thought it was going to be. A lot more portly than I thought it was going to be as well. But yeah, peace, love, and celebratory dancing. Bye, guys. Hope you enjoyed.